Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and I've finished my Diamond Art Studio UK Daisy. Just a little mini one to sort of have some fun with. It was actually really, really nice to work on. Um, the diamonds were really nice. I like the shading and the pattern. And I think it turned out rather well. But I do need to de-kit the diamonds. Now, normally I would place this canvas into my display book, which is where I store diamond paintings that are finished that don't have a particular place they need to go. However, I'm also running a tips and tricks series at the moment and I have a few things that I want to try out and a few things that I want to give as tips and tricks and I'm going to use this canvas to do it. Maybe this one, I'm maybe also going to use another one that I need to de-kit shortly. So I'm not popping this one in my display book but I do need to put my diamonds away. I have 14 diamonds colours, they are round and I do have a DMC numbers for them all, I did mark them down on the pots. So I don't need my heaven and earth design box at all because it's rounds and I don't use rounds on that and we're actually starting all the way over at 501. So this is my bag for rounds, this is also my bag for squares but I have a bag of each for 501. I like to keep my rounds in the front followed by my squares. It's just the way it started on day one and if I change it, I'll confuse myself. So I keep it that way round. So that's a 501. Let's see if I can get these to squeeze back in. I do really need to get another box. I'm actually going hobby craft at some point this week possibly later today so maybe I need to pick myself another box up and find the space to store more because even I'm getting bored of me saying I need another box every time I deep get a painting now mind you guys okay then we need 503 Nice, nice shades of green. Very similar shade of green to what I already had, but slightly different. You can get different dye lots between different manufacturers, <coughs> different makers of diamonds, etc. But I still put them all together in the same bag. Oh, are these stickers going to... Give me residue today. I think, oh, maybe not. Maybe it was just the corner of that one. So I'm going to take the stickers off each one as I go along. Otherwise, it's a very tedious task taking all 14 off at the very end. And this one is giving me hassle. I tend to find with these stickers, they're not removable stickers anyway. They're not described as removable um, but I do tend to find if it's a pot I've not used as much then it does give me more hassle to take them off however once I've used the pot a few times and used my goo gone to get rid of any residue they peel off a lot easier so I am going to need to goo gone at the end but let's get the rest de-kitted first and I'll goog on them all at the end. So 505 and that's actually it for this box of diamonds because this, this set holds my 100s to my 600s. And the next number I need to de-kit is the 700s. So this is my 700s to 900s. This is even fuller than the last one was, which is why I think I need to bite the bullet. Oh, and I have done it, haven't I? I've just remembered, takes me a minute sometimes, 
but I've recently been noting down my spares, square and round, and I'm sure I emptied into a new bag. And I've just realised as I'm about to empty into an empty bag. So at least it was, so 501, did we put any in there? We did. Pen. Should have loads of pens around here. So 50, oh, I've already got that down as round. 502, did I put any in there? I did, it was that one. 502, and then did we have 505? We did, and I put some in there as well. Okay, at least those three numbers that I've just de-kitted were next to each other. Because while I've not finished all my spares boxes yet, I am trying to keep on top of the ones that I have finished. I've done up to 900. So I'll keep this out because I've actually got one here, 781. 7, 8, 1. I now have that in round. Okay, and resume play. I say, I reckon there will be times that I will completely forget, like not even to the point that I can come back from it to forget, to mark down and update my spares. And if that happens, I may just have to you know, go back through my spares again, but I would rather not do that for a good couple of years if I can help it. So 890 already had some in, which means I don't need to update that one, that's fine. And then my next number is 924, which is, it's the after 900 that I will be doing on Friday. Video for Friday of this week, which as you can tell, by now I've not yet done because we were away Hubby and I were away this last weekend I've not prepped videos the same I'm doing them um, either the night before or the day of so this video is getting filmed on my lunch break on Wednesday and I will just eat while working later, shove something in my mouth to uh, stop me feeling too hungry um, and make it work that way. I don't mind so much. I've just thrown, throwing bits of stickers about. Okay, last one for this box, 924. 924. And I do already have some of these. I'll be marking them off as say on Friday and updating my list. I think it didn't help. Normally I keep my logbook on top of like my boxes of spares. It sort of sits on the top, tucked underneath. And I didn't actually have it there this time. Okay, 3024. 30 two, four, and if I just lift up the card a bit taller, it actually allows me to know where it was when I remember to do it. It's a little bit easier when the box is emptier, and this one has a bit more free flow in this box. So three, seven, five, zero, that one's getting full. Nice dark blue. Getting full, it's not full yet though. So 3750. And the nice job of removing stickers. Not so nice job. Well, that one came off clean. Are you going to come off clean? No, are you, Eck? I've got one sticker coming off clean. That one is not having it at all. So I'm trying to get sort of at least the top paper part off because it means I won't have to go over it with Goo Gone twice. 
if there's just sticky residue left and none of the paper, then Goo Gone gets it off really, really nicely. It just likes to stick to my hands for a while. See, I've got a piece stuck to my finger. Try and get that to go in the bin. Let's see. Get clean with the next one. Cleanish. Cleaning off. That's what I'm happy. Okay, 3817. Another nice green. There's quite a few nice greens in the background of this one to give it its nice shading. And of course, I forgot to lift it up, but we're here. 3817, 3821. A yellow, I've already got two different shades of yellow in there. Let's add some more. And I think that's a different shade all over again. So I've now got three different shades of yellow. 3852. All the way back here. It's another yellow because there was actually three different colours used just for the centre of the daisy. May only be 14 colours in the whole thing, but there was three colours in the daisy, three colours in the centre of the daisy. And then a couple of colours were used for the stem. And then it was about five different colours I think used on the background as well. Not sure if that adds up, five, six, seven, 10, 13, no, there's still another one. So maybe there was an extra background colour that I've not counted. Because some of them are similar, but not the same. So there is a very, very slight difference between them. trying to think it's been it's been about a week or so actually since I finished doing this diamond painting if not a bit more I've just not got round to actually de-kitting it yet okay 3865 in round which is an off-white and then 3866, which is an even more off, off white colour. Quite a few of those left. And that's not helping. And I still kept doing it. I should have stopped pouring when they first started going everywhere. Okay. Some are probably subject to the hoover. And I've scraped them all into the wrong hand. Now they're sticking. There we go. Some are subject to the hoover because they landed on the floor. But I got most of them in. So that's the diamonds away. I do need to... Oh, there's a rogue one. Messy diamond painter. I do need to sort out my pots though. I like to sort out my pots as soon as I finish a painting. Ideally, I try and de-kit as soon as I can. I mean, because I have videos, it can sometimes not be straight away. If I didn't have videos, I would de-kit before I kitted up the next. Because while de-kitting is okay, and while I kind of enjoy it, I much prefer kitting up. And if I, you know, if I just left the de-kitting, because I have so much storage, I could see it all piling up. So I sort of make myself de-kit before I can kit up. Now, the sticker on the front of my box is also liking to stick. And I've got it all stuck to my fingers. 
I'm going to get off while I can. I might have to give this one two goes with Goo Gone because there's just so much paper. It's such a bigger sticker. So I'll get a lot of it wet with the Goo Gone and then try and get it up maybe after. I'm trying to think. It's been a while since I've had to use Goo Gone. I think the last time I de-kitted the stickers just came off. And I can't remember how easy it is or whether I still have to scrape it off anyway. Uh, it's, not, it's not coming off okay. Scrape it off with my nail. You can hear my desk squeaking away. If you wonder what that squeaking is, it's my desk. It is fixed to the wall around the corners and actually has a gap in the middle before I have units underneath. And it's that gap underneath that is ideal storage for things like my paper trimmer and my display box for my paintings, etc. It's just a thin little gap, maybe an inch and a half inch and a half, maybe two inches away from the counters underneath and it gives me space to tuck big things. I'm all for tucking things out the way. So this is what I use, Goo Gone. It smells of oranges, which is very nice. And then if I go over it, I have got most of the paper off on this but what I tend to find is it tends to get all the sticky layer off but the paper that's sort of left you do have to go out a little bit more which is why I try and get as much of it off as possible and I know it's not the easiest thing to see because it is a clear container on a white desk And now I'm seeing bits that need to come off underneath. But if I just put my nail through the cloth, I can tend to get most of it off. So that's actually got all of that off. So now for my little <coughs> potty pots, just a lint free cloth, this one. It's, it's been used for removing stickers galore. So I'll just rub it over three containers and then, you know, give it a little bit of chance to soak and then go back and actually wipe it properly. And then I may have enough for the rest of the, the next row. In fact, yeah, the cloth's still pretty wet. You don't need a lot of this, especially on the likes of diamond painting containers because they, they are a small area really. It's quite a small area. So I'll just go over it. And then if it's a stubborn piece of sticky, so if it's a big remnant of sticky, then I sometimes just give it another minute or so. So if we, I don't know if you can even see, but I've got a bigger piece here. So I'll go over that and then I'll go to the smaller bits where there's only a couple of little pieces. And then I'll go back to the bigger part when it's soaked in. I may actually need some more because I have done quite a bit with one little, one little finger mark of, of Goo Gone. I didn't even really squeeze the bottle for it to come out through got a tiny little hole in, in the top. It's got a tiny little hole in there. I didn't really let too much come out at all because it is only a small area. It's not a big, huge sticker and it's not a big space. Oh. It's where I just look at it in different lights just to check it's, there's no sticker remnants on there at all. Find a cleaner part of my cloth. I wouldn't say clean. It's clean, stickery, gooey stuff off. So many containers now. Probably could do with going in the wash, but still doing the job. And then I like to give it a wipe over just to get rid of any of the, 
the Goo Gone residue. It does say to wipe over it all with like a clean cloth with potentially some washing up liquid. I just clean over it with the cloth itself. And that is my storage ready to go back with all my other storage for whatever kit it may see next. Say so I'm going to keep hold of this painting because I am going to try a couple of tips and tricks on this one. One of them I've not actually tried before so it could be fun so do stay tuned for those and yeah thank you all for joining me this Wednesday and I will speak to you all again soon.